Good morning, fifth graders. Just wanted to say happy Friday and um, remind you that next week is spring break. So um, use today to do the schoolwork that is assigned and then use um, your time to get caught up or maybe there's things from the week that um, maybe you put to the side. So use today to get everything caught up, um, just be able to kind of end the week um, with the things kind of maybe that are over, you know, hanging over your head, just be done with. Um, go ahead, work hard today, and then that way after spring break, we can start fresh. Um, I want to let you know about some things today. Um, there is an assignment for a um, Blood on the River one-pager. I know some of you um, were feeling behind with Blood on the River Read Aloud. Um, this is something that you should do if you have finished Blood on the River. Um, if you have not, maybe this is a good day to get caught up. Um, you are more than welcome to listen to Blood on the River over spring break. So just kind of figure out where you are in that process and um, do that one pager if you are complete with the book. Um, the other thing is there's a ReadWorks must do. There was some confusion this morning with one of the things that I had posted. Um, I went ahead and deleted that. So just go ahead, log into ReadWorks. There's a class code and Make sure that you um, have done, there's one article that was assigned, I think it was um, either earlier this week or last week. Um, just make sure that you submitted that and did that. There's only 22 students that seem to have done it. Um, some of you may have submitted it late. Um, just please make sure that that's done. If you've done it, just check, that's all. I'm running a report today and I wanna send it to your parents, okay? The other thing, there were some questions yesterday about the history. So I wanted to take this opportunity just to show you some of the things that um, that you could do with the history. So give me one second, I'm gonna present. Um, if there's ever some confusion or um, there is um, questions, feel free. Some of you have been um, sending me an email. Um, some of you have worked together to problem solve um, your um, questions with others. Um, I'm loving that. So please um, continue doing that. Let's go ahead and I'm going to just pull up yesterday's history. Okay. So with yesterday's history, here you're looking at it. You had a list of evidence. These were primary sources from Jamestown, different documents. And the question was, how do you know um, that Jamestown experienced hardships? And so some of you were going through the pieces of evidence and you were really kind of looking at it, really trying to analyze what, um, what you were seeing, kind of like a see, think, wonder. Um, and understanding that, wow, like I actually, station with some students and saying, you know, talked about the barrel makers, like, well, a cooper was someone who created barrels and barrels were usually used for kind of, um, pres you know, making sure that things were fresh and preserved. So if you only had one of those people, you know, were, was your food, was your, um, your resources, were they being kept fresh? That's, you know, it has to do with survival. Um, was there really the need for um, a wig maker? You know, were there um, more gentlemen than laborers, like the people that were actually going to be building and working? Um, the gentlemen seem to always kind of, on the council, kind of be, um, you know, a larger number than your, your working force. So these were things that people were um, realizing. Another thing that um, it was document, I think it was E, we were looking at. Um, if you're looking at immigration, right, seeing how many people were coming each year, right, to old Virginia, the colony, then looking at the surviving rate. So here you had in 1613, only 70 people surviving. And then you see this number, some of you noticed it was growing. So what was that telling you? What was that showing you about, um, about Jamestown and their survival and the hardships that maybe were occurring and how that shifted over time? Okay, so these were, this was an assignment that might have been confusing for some of you. I love that some of you just took on what you could with the documents that you felt like you could understand um, and maybe the other ones you didn't do, that's fine. So please just, I love that you're problem solving, um, do what you can, do your best. I know that nothing can replace a live teacher, but we're trying really hard to um, bring you some of the, the rich 
um, learning that we would do normally in the classroom, okay? Um, so that is another just tip for you today. Feel free to go back to yesterday's lessons if you need to. Um, and for today's lessons, you're going to be um, looking at, um, like what I said, the read aloud for Jamestown. There's a little science lesson, a little quick video on April Fool's Day. Um, it's just kind of an informational thing. Um, there is a math menu today and an opportunity just to review some of the math for this week. And um, there is, um, like what I said, check your read works. Um, if you're feeling like you're finishing um, your day and you're caught up, this is a great day to do personal projects. I'm trying to connect some of you to do personal projects together. Um, and that's a great opportunity to do some research, okay? And just kind of um, enjoy um, researching a topic that you're interested in. Um, I think that's it. I just want to say that I'm really proud of all of you. I have been able to conference with each of you this week. I'm wrapping up some people that I might have missed um, this week today. Um, report cards are going to be coming to your parents in their email along with some kind of reports on how you're doing in math and um, reading. And I just want to say enjoy the week off. Um, this is definitely, um, I myself am looking forward to just a little time to get um, connected with just my family and get things in place. I'm understanding that we're going to be in this for a little bit longer. So um, enjoy the time, get some fresh air, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you after spring break. Okay. Have a great day, my fabulous fifth graders. And then look for an email. I heard someone's birthday's on Tuesday during spring break. So we may do a quick happy birthday. Um, I've heard it's Petra's birthday. So um, look for that over spring break. If you can join us, um, we might be doing a little happy birthday to her. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.